Hello everyone, my name is Bo Alexander and I'm so glad that you're here. It has been a crazy busy week, you guys, coming off of the holiday and I don't know about you, but I have been desperately trying to get back into the swing of things. I've had some time to settle back into my daily routine, having spent much of last week away from my apartment and with my family and I don't know, I just felt like I needed a little bit of a revamp and a refresh around my space. One of the first things that I actually noticed when I walked through my front door is this beautiful built-in bookshelf that I've neglected for far too long and you guys know I have a ton of books and decor accents that I love to put out on display. So I thought it would be super cool to show you guys just a few different ways that I've restyled and reworked that space to inspire you. So you'll definitely want to stick around to see what I've created. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe down below and accompany me on this home decor journey. Chat with me and leave me a comment to let me know you enjoy videos like this. And be sure to give me a like so that I know to make more videos like this in the future. Also, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Botox Now for more day-to-day -day posts and inspiration. And without further ado, Let's jump right into it. This is the bookshelf I'll be styling today. It's the first thing you see when you walk into my apartment, so I am thrilled to show you a few bearing arrangements. The first will be a neutral palette, and just a heads up, I didn't go shopping for this video. These are all pieces that I already own and have owned for quite some time. I'd say roughly 90% of what you'll see here is from Home Goods or HomeSense, and the remainder would be thrifted goods from Goodwill or purchased via Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Etsy, or Wayfair. Here you'll see I arranged the beige and black decor accents first. I have completely scoured every pantry, cupboard, closet, and existing vignette within my apartment to source the pieces that I'll be using to complete each of these looks, so feel free to do the same. Mentally and visually, I have split this bookshelf into three parts vertically, and will be aligning these objects to either the left, center, or right side of each individual shelf. And once the placement of the decor accents feels and looks right, I will take a mental note or a photo before removing each and reworking the shelf with books. Each book that you see in this video was a home goods or home sense find. I have an entire video dedicated to coffee table books that I will be sure to link above for you in the cards. In this case, I am stacking and using the books as an elevation or riser to give some height and visual weight to elevate an accent piece. This modern bubble vase was one of my first DIYs that I've completed on this channel, and I'll be sure to link that video above too, should you be interested in making one for yourself. And I bought this beautiful circle of hand vase from Betancourt Manor, one of my absolute favorite online vintage boutiques. I'm using this next set of books as a platform for these incredible candlestick holders that I sourced from Goodwill earlier this year. They were a dollar a piece and originally a golden brass color that I spray painted matte black to fit my decor aesthetic. Now usually I would place a candle in each, but for a more minimalistic approach, I thought the silhouette alone was visually pleasing. And for contrast, I added this mid-century Hager-styled vase that my incredibly talented friend Lisbeth Sanson sent me for our collab a few weeks back. For this next shelf, I'm switching it up a bit and arranging the books vertically in an upright position to create visual interest and depth. You want to be sure to vary each of your book stacks to create white space and avoid monotony. And I'm using a decor accent in place of a traditional styled bookend for a more personalized flair. This beautiful bone-colored figure was a marketplace find, and I love incorporating a more circular and organic shape to play off of the structured characteristics of the pieces opposite it on this shelf. You will notice that for this bottom shelf, I have center-aligned the books to contrast from the three above it to ground the overall display as a complete unit visually. Also, disregard the bright red pages of this book by Daniel Ost. I'm just realizing now how vibrant it appeared on camera, but I assure you it blends seamlessly into the design head-on. For the last decor accent, I'm using this oversized, chiseled bone magnifying glass for a natural touch. I am super pleased with the way this neutral hue display turned out. I feel I was able to still show off my own unique personal style with this versatile color scheme that is an ideal palette for any space or decor aesthetic. 
For my second arrangement, I stayed true to the majority of my home decor styling and went for a more black and white approach. I do try to incorporate a subtle glam flair into my style, so you will notice there is a touch of silver and natural glass crystal incorporated throughout this display. Just like before, I like to play around with the decor accents before I add books to each vignette that I create in my home. I feel it not only provides you with a more minimalistic look, but also gives you a glimpse of my thought process and how I like to visually lay out each individual piece across the space as a whole. This is where you get to really have fun and play with the composition and work each element till it comes together to form a cohesive design that you enjoy personally. Now you can absolutely Google how to create a unified look and stick to the rule of three in pyramidal arrangement, but I really feel that vignetting a space is a talent, and the objects you bring together need to resonate and work for you, no one else. Similar to the first arrangement, I'll be using these coffee table books as a riser for this beautifully shaped vessel that I sourced from Goodwill. It was maybe around $3.99 and was originally a deep cherry red color, but in Trubo fashion I spray painted this piece matte black for a more elevated appearance. And for an elegant touch, I'll use these clear glass crystal obelisks to juxtapose the horizontal setup of the objects to the left. The final touch was this small scale oud scented candle from Diptyque. For this next shelf, we're building from the right to counterbalance the placement above. You'll notice that I'm using a variety of books for this look in varying shades of white, gray, and black. On occasion I will remove the brightly colored book covers to achieve this look, as most reveal a more neutral colored cover beneath. On the left, I'm using smaller scaled books to elevate this beautiful Grecian bust that was gifted to me a year or so back. I believe it came from Wayfair. I've added this mini canvas painting that I completed last summer to the background of this display for depth. And in the foreground, I've included this beautifully shaped stainless steel bowl that I sourced from Goodwill for around $2. We're working left to right on this shelf, another substantial arrangement of upright books in varying colorless hues. To counterbalance the shelf above, I did make this grouping a little more substantial to level out the visual weight. Like decorating a Christmas tree, be sure to take a step back from time to time and really assess your placement from afar to ensure that there is sufficient white space and that no area appears too dense. So many of you love this walking monkey that I used as a bookend. I found this at home since a couple years back and want to say it cost around $14.99. To continue with the subtle glam approach, I'm including these glass crystal pillared candle holders. I sourced these individually from both home goods and home scents over the span of a few months. When you shop at a chain of stores like this, it may take time to complete a set as they frequently rotate through their stock so quickly day to day. We're going with yet another center aligned placement to ground this bottom shelf. I've used one of the most dense books that I have in my collection, the Tom Ford, to really add visual weight to this final pairing. Top it off, this beautifully cut crystal Mikasa bowl that I thrifted from Goodwill. This piece was only $12.99 and a steal of a deal for such a classic find. Now of the three looks I'm showing you in this video, I'm most partial to this arrangement. This is how I plan to actually keep the bookshelf styled for the weeks to come, and I really enjoy this view when I enter my home. For the third and final look, I wanted to step outside of my norm and incorporate the use of color. I know that so many of you watching would appreciate this effort, and believe it or not, I have quite a few colorful accents to work with in my arsenal of home decor. When working with color, I like to include earthy elements like flowers and plants. 
For this look, I'm using artificial plants as they're what I have readily available, but feel free to have fun with it and take clippings of your favorite plants and flowers from your backyard or garden to incorporate into a colorful display like this. In the close-up, you will notice I've added a few more clear glass crystal elements into this arrangement, and my intention here is to keep the focus on the vivid color of both the book spines, plants, and flowers. I tried to stick to the Roy G. Biv sequence of hues, and for those of you who may not be familiar with that acronym, it's just the term that describes the sequence of hues in a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Having delved into the large collection of coffee table books that I've amassed over the years, I was actually quite surprised to see how colorful the assortment was. I absolutely love these clear glass crystal obelisk shaped bookends. The glass works within any color scheme and refracts light around the space. They were a score from Home Goods, and I paid nearly half of what you'd find them for listed on websites like Howes. You can find these brightly colored artificial arrangements at Home Goods and HomeSense pretty much year round. For a size like this, you can expect to pay no more than around $12.99, and in this particular bouquet, the roses were real feel and actually look quite decent for artificial stems in person. For this next shelf, we're moving on to progressive shades of cream and green. I capped the vertical stack of books with the other glass obelisk tower bookend for symmetry. I'm using this set of white bound books to prop up a faux eucalyptus plant and the same oud scented diptyque candle from the black and white arrangement. If my memory serves me correctly, this plant was around $7.99 from HomeSense and the base was actually gray originally, but I spray painted it matte black. For this shelf, because the shades of navy and blue were so dark in contrast to the other colors I've selected for this arrangement, I wanted to neutralize this particular grouping and use not only clear glass crystal pyramids to add white space, but to also use a white textured bust to sort of balance out and negate the harsh contrast. This Vito bus statue is a classic, a very popular style that was sourced a year back from CB2. For the last shelf in this arrangement, I'm sticking to my tried and true center alignment. I used shades of pale pink and lavender and topped the book stack with a very small sized vessel that you can probably guess by now that I sourced from Goodwill for pennies and spray painted black. The multicolored bookshelf of your dreams is easier to obtain than you may have previously thought. And color coding books can be executed tastefully and makes for a much more playful approach in design. So that is it for today's video, you guys. Be sure to leave me a comment and hit the like button to let me know that you enjoy styling videos like this. If you followed me for some time, you'll know that the majority of my styling inspiration lives over on my Instagram, so be sure to follow me there at Botox Now. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more weekly home decor inspiration. Until next time, bye!